actually going to show you uh, how to make the market system. This is going to be one of the probably the longest video I've made here like to now. And uh, it's going to be like about the dynamic uh, market system, how it actually works, and what it actually could be really good for. Uh, so we're just going to start today uh, by looking at what it is and what sort of function it has. So I'll bring up a picture here. This is actually how it's going to look. Uh, like this actually. Uh, it's going to show you it's a little by picture I would say. I'm going to admit that. Uh, so this actually works like you have a price in each stuff and the price goes up and down uh, as long as the uh, server is up. So when the server restarts, it resets itself. But what it does is actually, if a lot of people is selling a lot of same example salt, the salt price will go down, and the actual price of everything else, like cocaine and apples, everything else would rise up. That means people are not going to do the same thing all the time, and it means it's going to be a more role play actually, because people are less to rob people at the same places all the time and know where to camp. It makes the role play go away actually and it ruins the whole point with role playing on in after's life so we're actually going to look into how you do it how you place it in and um, i've already uh, made it, everything up for you guys it's for all the files you need so this is going to be placed in the download link you can download in a whole package um so we're actually going to go through everything you what you do Okay, so what you do, you open your pure Altus Life folder, uh, every, every file you have. You go into, first of all, you go into function H, you open up the function H uh, folder you have. It's going to look like something like this. Probably don't have all those stuff and everything here. Um, so, what you open up here is the, uh, you're going to go down and find a little space here. Get two spaces in between here. It's just actually to press enter. When you got this one, you press enter once, and you're gonna go down there and place this little thing here. Everything would be is gonna be placed in the description here, so you just place it in underneath it. And this text also is really important. You scroll a little more down until you find the function h link, the function class function here, and it's important that it stands core functions here. You go down and you find the market system random round. This is going to be a file we're going to place in. You place a little thing in here and leave it like that. You shouldn't do anything more than that with that. Um, it's just really important to, to be able to, to put them in there. So, when you've done that, you can close up the, the Notepad. You go back here and you open the dialog. Go into the uh, one called Master Handler. You can just open in Notepad. Notepad, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to look different in the Notepad Plus Plus. But yeah, what you do, you need this little thing here, those two here, and I'm going to place this so you guys can have it. It's really easy to find, but it's easier. Are you going to type? It? It's going to take a little while for you guys. So, um, what you do actually is um, just put this in here and uh, close it up just remember to save it it's pretty important mm, so up to the next folders actually the about the virtual cell and everything that's already here it's in here i'm going to show you what this means uh what you do is go into shop uh core shops and this is actually one we're going to see here i'm going to show you what what the full screen we have so it's the update cell and the buy the, those over here you can see buy sell and update just replace those three don't do anything with it just replace them as they are or you, you should already have those folders just replace them as you have it it should it's just gonna work 100 percent and so about the um market and the common those two here you can see i have a year torrent on them just don't care about that it's actually just my computer that's having a little fun with me and what you do actually just go into your um, into your folder I'm going to show you where it's going to be placed and we go into the um, dialog folder here you just place it in here you see I've already got the um, the market ones that should be here and the common editor wrapper that should be here 
this is one that we activated in the master handler you can see here so it's already activated so uh, as you see uh, the next thing we're gonna do I'm, I'm also gonna place everything here as you see I'm gonna explain what you do it's actually being explained how you do it and where it's gonna be placed um, but I'm gonna show you also so you don't need to do it by yourself um, so uh, we're finished this thing here and what you do now is going to the uh, player RV and this is going to be where the well, IV menu actually the player menu the one you place wire button you're going to get the option to get the markets and what you do then is go into the and uh, we go into the I'm just going to give you a second here and the dialogue go down to you find the play IV open this one up and go to the bottom and you can see it's already placed in for me here um, so this is going to be placed in and I'm going to help you out with that if you don't if you have any questions or don't understand how to place it in I'll be happy to help you guys um, as long as you just place it between here with two spaces it should be okay so close it up and remember to save it um, so what you do now, I'm going to show up the, the thing again here, um, as you see here, I'm going to place in the next one here, init, sds in sqf, it's important you go into the init sqf, that's actually here, that means in this one here, not in the core, but on the original here, actually, you go into the one here, and you see those two here, I'm placing it into the folder here, so you can just copy and paste, it's going to go to the top so do not place it on the bottom or something remember to place it on the top and just save it and close it up and that's actually what we do here um, to what you need to do now is actually just um, I'm going to show you now what to do uh, just give me one second there yeah uh, so what you do now is actually Give me one second, I just gotta think a second so I don't do anything wrong here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what you actually do now is um, open up the thing here again. Uh, this one. Um, open this one here. And find the one called. Not this one here. Um, just, just close this one. Um, so what you do actually now is um, going to the market one here. This is actually this one is really important that we it's going to be placed in the core and the market. Just place the whole folder in here and place the S um, SM oh, FSM uh, folder at the same place like here. So, so you activated this one here at the same time. Um, so. What you actually do now, um, you open the same one as I already had here, um, this one here, and it's pretty important that you actually, I'm going to add a little thing because it's really something we actually forgot there, and it's actually pretty important to have with it, uh, not this one, so do not open that one, um, there's the one in the back and the one that's in it here. The one we're gonna have is the one here. This little texture I gotta actually add into this folder here, so you guys can have it. And uh, this one is actually going to be placed into the init um, .sqf, so you guys can have it. Um, and it's just gonna be actually just remember to have like two spaces between the one here and the one down down here. Just replace everything if you have any on the bottom here. Um, so, when you've done that, uh, you're actually in goal, I would say. Um, when you restart the server and dry it up again, it's just going to work uh, perfectly. Uh, you're going to have the option to, to actually go into it, and um, that's actually the goal about everything. Um, remember that this one is not part of the, of the script, just as you know, and this is the same folder as this one here, just as you know. Um, this one is not the market system as you see, it's about the anti-cheat and the anti-cheat is actually just put it in there 
if you want it and the folder here is just gonna go into the main root folder of uh, RU Armor 3 folder here as uh, here it's just the outside the core folder if you want it it's, it blocks everything it cheats and it's pretty effective and I've used it on my server and it's it's actually been banning a lot of people and that's the most effective ban of or cheat I've ever used anti cheat I've ever used in, in any servers actually so I would recommend you using it but it's up to you guys so what you want to do um, so just gonna save this so that's actually what I have to show and um, if you have any questions you please leave it in the description uh, or in the, in the comments I mean and if you yeah if you want to see when the next video is coming up please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching guys this is Admiral signing out for this time